Hi, my name is Phyllis Chakra Philip. I am curator at Aga Khan Museum. This month's topic is tantalizing, and in connection herewith, I have selected a 16th century artwork from the Aga Khan Museum collection. This magnificent 16th century marble fountain from Egypt tells a fascinating story about the domestic life of Muslim cultures. Water has long played a significant role in Islamic architecture, inspiring fountains, pools and channels in public and private spaces. There it has served both practical and symbolic functions. As an essential source of life and coolness, particularly valued in hot, arid climates, as an important part of worship, and as a reminder of paradise replete with gushing fountains and flowing rivers. Fountains of Islamic architecture fall into one of three categories. Oblution fountains found in the courtyards of mosques, where worshippers could wash before entering. Public fountains for drinking and household tasks and decorative fountains found in inner courtyards or outdoor gardens valued both for their cooling effects and their aesthetic charms. They certainly invite people to interact with water. The Aga Khan Museum's fountain falls into the, into the third category of decorative fountains. Fountains were part of domestic interiors in Egypt and Syria, from the Mamluks to the Ottomans. The fountain in the Aga Khan Museum collection might have once sat in the center of reception hall within a 16th century Egyptian home, where it would have fit the house with the pleasant sound of trickling and bubbling water. The Aga Khan Museum fountain is made of marble and sandstone. Its center is fashioned in the shape of an, of an eight-lobed pattern. The entire fountain is decorated using the inlay technique. Its tricolored stones suggest that it follows a Mamluk tradition from Cairo, as examples in situ demonstrate. For more details to this fountain, please see our website or visit our wonderful museum and its collection in person.